Hi, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to uh, be looking at uh, lamb's ear. I do believe the name is Stachys. That's hard to pronounce. Um, I will put the, the name in the title uh, so you know, but this is lamb's ear. It's a, <clears throat> it's a drought tolerant um, perennial that uh, is very easy to grow, very foolproof. Uh, as long as you don't have a lot of water and a lot of sun, uh, it will make itself at home pretty well anywhere. It's a very, very hardy plant. Um, it really doesn't need to have a lot of roots to, to uh, make itself home. So anyway, uh, I planted this this year. I had maybe one or two plants that I had dug out from my mother's house, and uh, it really made itself home. This is one year's worth of growth. Um, absolutely fantastic. I love it. It makes me smile. I love to come in and feel the leaves. Um, it really is a nice plant. Uh, it does grow like a weed. Um, it doesn't pop up all over the place. It will, if, if, a, if a part breaks off and, and goes and, and uh, has contact with the soil, it will grow. Uh, very easy to pull out, so it's not an invasive, um, hard to control plant. Um, this plant here started off with just, like I said, a small little uh, uh, plant right here in the center. It's since radiated out. It's almost going to give us a dead hole, like a donut uh, appearance in the center from where it once was. Um, there's actually a, a daylily that it's, it's uh, taken over just at the back here. You can't see it, but there's a daylily to this side, a daylily to this side. I had, I had three, or I still do have three, but you wouldn't know it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig this um, lamb's ear up, and I'm going to put it uh, along the back of the fence. Uh, lamb's ear is, is a very tolerant plant. Uh, I have clay soil. Um, it grows very, very well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant it all the way along the back of the fence, and it's going to be like sort of like a riverbed appearance. Um, I don't let this uh, plant go to flower. The flowers are kind of pretty, but uh, I like the effect of the leaves more. So it's going to give me a dry riverbed sort of appearance. Um, it's going to be out of my hair. I can have a nice row of it. It's going to look beautiful. Um, very low maintenance. When it gets out of hand, I'll just pull it out and uh, and do what do what we do. So anyway, lamb's ear is a is a really tolerant plant. Just got my garden spade. Everybody needs a good garden spade. I think that's one of the biggest tools that you'll ever ever you use. Most useful. And uh, so. We'll dig it out. I'm going to take probably the whole plant out. Let me see here. The ground is still quite cold. It's April here. Let me see if I can get the shovel in. Like I said, it's a very tolerant plant, so um, you don't need to worry about being nice to it. This is a great opportunity if you have any uh, friends or neighbors that want it. Just, uh, give them as many of it as you can. See, it's a drought tolerant plant. As you can see, probably there's roots already starting along the edge there. So this little piece, if I was to leave it in the garden, just on a little bit of soil, it probably will grow. Might look like heck for a little while, but it will grow. All right. So this is a beautiful clump, absolutely beautiful clump. So I'm gonna take this opportunity, I'm gonna um, plant it throughout my yard. Um, it, it will look fantastic. Later on in the season, I'll uh, I'll let you see how they uh, how they how they took and how they're working their magic. And uh, yeah, uh, I do recommend uh, lamb's ear to everybody. Uh, like I said, it's it's a it's a low maintenance plant. It's a very cold hardy plant. It uh, it's just nice. It's very nice. Um, so anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, happy growing.